Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers purple loosestrife. Purple loosestrife grows all over the state of Vermont. You can find it in wet areas, really in wet meadows, marshes, edges of ponds, roadside ditches, anywhere like that all over the state. This is a plant of purple loosestrife. This is actually last year's stock of the purple loosestrife plant. You can see it gets about, it can get up to about six feet tall. And uh, when it's in flower, it has these fuchsia wands of flowers that are really bright. These are the plants that are coming up for this year, the new growth uh, that will flower. And you can see that these stems have leaves that are always across from each other. It's called opposite. There's always leaves opposite each other on the stem, or sometimes there are even three leaves across from each other on the stem like that. And the leaves have no stems on them. They just clasp right around the stem. And the most distinctive thing are those purple flowers that you'll see later in the summer. Purple loose strife can cover entire wetlands. They can spread across the swamp very aggressively and uh, come to dominate it and change its ecological structure and function. Thankfully, for purple loosestrife, there actually is a treatment, and most of it is already actually happening without any of our assistance. There's a biocontrol. In this case, it's four different beetle species that have been introduced, and it's actually been very successful over the last 10 years in controlling purple loosestrife around the state. If you want to get beetles in your wetland because the loosestrife is still very heavy, the beetles are readily available. The best way to prevent the spread of purple loosestrife is, like many of the other invasive plants, to make sure you don't plant it in your gardens. In fact, purple loosestrife is sometimes sold, it's actually it's illegal to sell in Vermont, but it's sometimes sold as a sterile variety. People will say there's a sterile cultivar of loosestrife that won't spread and actually even the sterile types have been known to be able to produce seed. So that's not entirely true. So we recommend that people do not plant loosestrife in their garden, the purple loosestrife. There are actually many other wonderful showy native plants that we do recommend that you plant. For example, you can plant milkweed or swamp milkweed. It's a beautiful pink color and grows in wet areas as well. And those attract monarch butterflies and pollinators. And another favorite of mine is Joe Pieweed, which also is a pink color and grows in wet areas. For more information about purple loosestrife, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.